ja, herzlich willkommen ähm, bei uns an der Schule, an der IGS Flötenteich. Wir haben seit 2015 interkulturelle Begegnungen, vor allen Dingen mit den Kinderkulturkarawanen und hier mit der Kinderkulturkarawane aus Uganda und mit der Kulturkarawane aus Indien, den Dreamcatchers. Und die Kulturkarawane aus Uganda, die Sosoya, die Kulturkarawane kommt mit einem Tanztheaterstück zum Thema Klimagerechtigkeit. Zu dem Projekt würde ich jetzt ähm, äh, Beate bitten, dass Beate vielleicht äh, kurz vorstellt, die äh, Kulturkarawane Sosoya. Wir würden euch vorher darüber informieren, worüber das äh, Tanztheater handelt. Dann ist es viel einfacher, auch die Sachen zu verstehen und ähm, die Bewegungen sozusagen zu lesen. Da gebe ich einfach mal kurz weiter. Ja, also das Stück heißt Omukama Kasi, Woman King. Und es geht um extreme Wetterbedingungen, die Dürre und Hunger im Königreich verursachen. König Kaginga verbringt schlaflose Nächte und versucht eine Lösung für das Problem seines Volkes zu finden. Er ruft alle Weisen und Regenmacher zusammen, aber alle können das Problem nicht lösen. Und als es ihnen nicht gelingt, es regnen zu lassen, verbannt er sie. Er ruft alle starken jungen Männer des Königsreichs auf den Berg, zu besteigen, um Nahrung zu beschaffen, die sein Volk vor dem Hunger bewahrt. Doch sie scheitern alle und lassen das Dorf mit Frauen, Kindern, alten Menschen zurück. Und dem Prinzen. Eines der Mädchen bietet sich an und schafft es nun, den Berg zu erklimmen und rettet somit ihr Volk. Darauf verliebt sich der Prinz in sie und die beiden heiraten. König Kaginga segnet die Ehe und er nennt das Mädchen zur Königin, der ersten Königin des Landes. Ich wünsche viel Freude bei dem Stück.
waba wali jise kujiri doto ni doto siru nita wawe roho chango sumutima wafu inyemeye ubutimna ujenewe kutamu utsukwa ishkwe ni ranguru ishkwe turati siji ichi ele chizu jisobanu tsitsi ina jagutse nyamara jyoshi tuz Uranga ni uranga mwe tazwe ho kuremwa ikuru cyangwa samateka ikuri kwiriye kuba uruherekane inama yababiri ibanga rya babiri ubuzima bubangikanye ibisaka kuvuka kwa kabiri turi ko kugira ngo gire twamyeho tuzahorana ibihe bitarondo deka Zahora ni mimi vitaro ndoleka Tutule tutuze tutule kani Tunate kani Eje eche mge tkui guhu Nere mge nare mge tuvireke Tukuli suri ya mechi Nige tushake zirancha Ama hita mumasha Morjo bose tuliku mge dusa Nere mite eche lezo jacho Tuku ya kasi jutu kwa achi ya moku Nere mge tukule mge tuku gacho Ama ke gura masu ya Ure kubu uzi mite eche lezo jacho Sanjisa kunanya iwawe Harini ulifezi Wikorote Sheri Ishi Sheri Sanjisa kunanya iwawe Harini ulifeza Wikorote Wikorote Sheri Sheri Yawe Wikatuwa Nogu Miru Hali Kwa Chumi Nogu Tukwe Netukwe Mgebe Jerome Owe.
woman. The glaciers are melting, can't you see? We are all going to die. This is not good. This, this is not true. Don't do that, woman. We cannot survive if we go on like this. This modernization can be the sword. We cut down all our forests for the industries, for tea, for the cotton, for all the food. Tea, cotton, cotton is not food. It just puts us in competition with better producers. I am so, so, so fed up with the fancy cars, the industries. We, we are not going to eat this plastic. We can eat. This is a new world. See, the rest of the world is developing. And we, my dear friends, must catch up. What? Catch up, catch up as we stand up, girl. Catch up as we suffocate from all this carbon emitted by these industries. Are you out of your mind? This new thing. Abba, you have phones. Guys. Huh? Just in fancy clothes. Isn't that enough for you? Oh my god. Fancy. Hmm? Is this fancy? Does this look fancy to you? Is this fancy? Am I? Stop accusing each other. That is not my protest here. The current situation is the enemy we have to fight. You are wise and always give good counsel to my father and those before him. We need you now more than ever. The situation is very tough. But this is our home. We have nowhere else to go. We need to find the solution. What we are facing now is the collapse of our home. The very thing that gave birth to our civilization. And this, this is just the beginning because the worst is yet to come. We have cleared our rainforests for monoculture, for industries, and infrastructure. We have turned up of our fertile land into farmland. These industries are producing the carbon that has led to unpredicted weather conditions, that has led to climate change. Because fossil fuels and plastics are continuously polluting our home. Our home is no longer as wild as it used to be. No ecosystem, no matter how big, is secure. We have betrayed nature, and yet it is the only way we can survive and save ourselves. We can no longer overlook the damage we've created as humans, and we must do something. The changes that we have to make we will only benefit ourselves and the next generations that are to come. We must change our way of life. We must phase out fossil fuels and drain our planet from the eternal energies of nature, from sunlight, wind, water, and geothermal. We must restore life under water, the life in the lakes, in the oceans and seas. The diversity of all living creatures. We should reduce the areas that we use for farming on land. We must revert to sustainable methods of farming that use fewer pesticides and less fertilizers. We must learn how to use more sustainable means of transport with less emissions. We must restore our ecosystems, our biodiversity. We, as humans, must learn how to be a part of nature and not apart from nature.
mountain Rahun Yunya. It's natural food, and organic seeds that we can plant. But my king, to get that food, you will need strong and brave men to bring that food and the organic seeds. For now, that is the only hope that we have to restore the harmony, joy, and peace of our land. My strong men, and women or oh women, let's go climb Mount Jebel Bring back a good life on land, air and water, to secure the future of we, the people of which we are.
sie nicht auszubeuten oder zu zerstören. Stattdessen sie zu lieben und zu schätzen. Mark 